now use if you're if you, if you have a bad start or you have something very specific that you want to fix rather than the general panacea of the uh, oh, sorry, I'm not. You, 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 you talk about the general transfer. Well, I didn't. I answered a question about the oh, January right. transfer. <laughs> <laughs> you still talk about it. Was, it was, and, and you say it's a hard market. To, it's a hard market to work. Is it, is it now? Is it, is it now no longer seen as a general by fans as a general, you know, quick fix for? Uh, no, I don't, I, I, I don't know whether it whether it is or it isn't. I mean, some players, some clubs, and it depends almost where you're fishing and as I say I qualified it by saying that you know the the type of player that that that, that would benefit one of the top clubs I'm not just speaking about Manchester City here, but benefit one of the top clubs is likely to be involved already at a top club who who are chasing honours so wouldn't want to let that player go um, and that's why I say it's a, it's it's a difficult market just been to see Sir Alex who said that he's, he's looked at every reason why he's going to have to keep conceding goals and he, he can't quite work it out. Is, is there kind of the, the same but the opposite problem with the strikers here? Because it seems... No, we're producing chances. Um, and, and as I said, because we're having the efforts on goal, if we were only having six, seven efforts on goal per game, then there'd be a reason why we're not scoring goals. Um, we're not, we're getting 24 four against Sunderland, 31 against, we're having efforts on goals um, and therefore those, uh, you know, I think Sergio had something like half a dozen efforts on goal against Sunderland, it'll, it'll happen where he has two and he gets two, it'll, it'll just, that's the way that it'll go I'm sure, um, so good because we, we know. <laughs> Do you feel there's a lack of confidence though? No. Not, none of them strike, strike, strike just as being players, I guess. Yeah, everybody goes on about confidence at the end of the day. It's, you know, it, I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe that players go or do anything different just because they've got, they haven't scored for a period of time, you know. Um, they're all experienced, even though they're young, they're all experienced enough in terms of playing games and scoring goals and they will know that there'll be a, there'll be a glut that comes along. How much of a, an impact could the loss of Yaya have on the season? Because obviously last January, losing him was a big blow. You've had to use Colo a bit more as well in, in recent weeks. <coughs> uh, I'm not too sure many, how many games he's, he's gone for in terms of league games off the top of my head. But it's something that we've known about and it's something we've got to deal with. Um, you know, we, we, we lost him last year um, and, and won the league. Um, we don't, you know at the end of the day, the kind of player that he is, then it would be more beneficial to, to have him. Similar with Colo as well, we want to keep all the players. It's, only, it's like when you get an injury, you, you, they're not welcome. and You want the full complement to be able to choose from. Um, but we haven't, and we'll get on with it. And there's a dressing room full of quality players that we can, um, we'll have to cope with it. When strikers are going through spells like they are, David, do you, is it too simplistic to say just do more shooting practice, more drills? Do you leave it to them because they're all such top quality Yeah, players? no, no, no. I mean, that, listen, it's, it's you, one, you know, we, Sergio, I don't, I mean, Sergio, how I many did he finish up with last year, 20-odd? 29, 30. Um, you know, and he didn't, it's nice. we're not doing anything different in training or anything like that. I think it is too simplistic to, to say that. They'll... They'll come along, and as I say, you know, it's not just them that we've got to look at to to look at where we're going to get the goals from. They'll they'll come along. It's not as if we're not having chances. Just what happened last season, David, make you fairly comfortable with any gap that you're going to be behind Man United going into the new year. Doesn't tell us two games left, you. Yeah. <laughs> um, again, I wouldn't look at once at last season and say we can take pointers from last season in terms of it. We are seven points adrift at this moment in time. It's not a position that we would prefer to be in. We'd be prefer to be seven points in front, if not, but we'd be, uh, certainly the gap we would like to be smaller. Um, it isn't. There are, it's half a season to go f um, to play. Um, with games, you know, that, that'll go for us, go against us, go, go for Chelsea, go for Manchester United, go against them. We don't know. I mean, it's, it literally is just getting on with your own, putting your own house in order, getting on with your job and winning football matches and seeing where that takes you from one week to the next. As you go into that second half of the season, is, is there a point that 
if the gap does start to widen, that you might get a little Well, we don't think about it. it. We don't think about it. I mean, at the end of the day, there's no point in worrying about variables. We are where we are. There's seven points gap with 19 games left. And um, we'll prepare for tomorrow's game. We'll go into the game to win it. You know, it, 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 even if the gap got mathematically too big, we would still be going into games to win them. So I don't, I don't see as it changes too much. How's Zavaleta, by the way? You got a head. He's fine. Uh, cool. He's finished. Yeah.